Hey there YouTube viewers, I am back again. Uh, this is tutorial 5 out of many that I will be creating uh, in hopes in helping learn the basics of coding in the language of PHP. <coughs> now, in my last tutorial I talked a little bit about different operators. The greater than or equal to, the less than or equal to, the greater than, the less than, the equals not equals, that kind of deal. Now, Sorry. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to. Th I, I pre-typed out all this code here simply because I didn't want to piss away most of the most of this video typing it out for you. So I just typed it all out, and I'm just going to explain it. Now, um, <coughs> in this one, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to code case structures. Uh, now, what is a case structure? Uh, what that is is it's say you you wanted. Well, you're hired by a company and they want you to create a program in PHP that allows a user to enter in multiple answers. So it's for for example like three or five answers instead of one or two. Like a Boolean. A Boolean is either true or false. Well what if you wanted three options like in uh, down below here. I have three options the user can go in or can choose. <coughs> and that's when you start using case structures. Uh, now what this is, is here I got our simple variable up at the top, uh, called it choice. Uh, and right now it's equal to negative one, seeing as how we're going to be changing it, so it doesn't matter what it equals to. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, and then right below that I have PHP echo out uh, just a menu of options that the user can choose from. So if they hit, if they enter in one, it's going to display hello world. If they enter in two, it's going to display hello. And if they enter in three, it's going to display the word by. And that's all that this these lines do. Uh, right below that, I have just it gets the input from the user. So first, it asks the user, oh, whoopsies, please enter in a number between one and three and then it stores their whatever their choice is into the variable choice which was up at the top here negative one well now it's equal to whatever they entered and then this is where we have our case structure this is our entire case structure or switch statement whatever you want to call it it doesn't matter <coughs> now what you uh... this is how it uh, this is how all switch statements or case structures will look like you'll type in for PHP you're gonna type in s the word switch and in brackets the variable you are looking at or you're going to be evaluating so you're gonna be evaluating the word choice or the variable choice and that has the users uh, input stored in it so say they entered in two so they want to display the, w the text hello they entered in the number two and it got stored into choice now we're going to be evaluating choice. And then you're going to do as uh, a bracket, parentheses. And now for each case, or for each possible answer, you're going to have a case to it. So since we're, we, we've gone 1 to 3, I, I've gone 1 to 3. Case 1, you're going to echo out hello world. Just echo out normally. And break. What does break mean? Well, that's just implying that you're ending that case statement and you, you're starting a new case statement, as you can see below. Case number two. So if you enter in two, you're going to echo out hello instead of hello world or bye. And you're going to break that case statement. You're gonna, and then you're going to move on. Do you want another case? Yes, you do. Well, in this case, you do. And I have three. And in this case, if, you, if the user enters in three, it's going to display the text bye. As you can see, it does that exact same thing down below, and it breaks that case statement. And of course, if you wanted to add more, you could. Well, for example, like blah, echo out, blah. It doesn't matter. You can add as many as you like. It won't affect your program in any way whatsoever. <coughs> and say uh, you say the user enters in none of these. Say they enter in like negative 1.5. Ooh, what's gonna happen? You can't go between 1 and 2. You can't split that. No. That's where we have default. Sorry, I should have typed this in, but I didn't. So I'm gonna do it for you right now. A default. So what happens if they don't type, if they type in something outside of your range, 1 to 4? 
that's where you just type in default and you do whatever you want echo out invalid answer it doesn't matter it truly doesn't and then you're gonna break it I knew I spelled that wrong there we go and there you have it <coughs> that is switch case statement whatever you want to call it uh, very simple and as you go let's save it here okay and let's watch, see it run so we're going to go run if you in case you forgot that's window key plus R you type in CMD as I have highlighted there and you hit enter CMD is short for command prompt you'll get this lovely 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 black box pop up and make sure you have it set to the correct directory in my later or last videos I did not have it in my the right directory I have it right here on my desktop and I still do so I change that so change directory CD to desktop voila so easy sorry it's been a while since I created a, a tutorial here so I'm just gonna I just decided to put that in in case you guys forgot all right we're in our right directory now we're gonna run the program PHP hello world now as you can see it displays our menu one is display hello world to hello three by you then a number between one and three <coughs> okay so you enter in two displays hello yay it works let's see what happens when we just hit one one yay it works i forgot to add in the fourth option for uh blah but it, it, it's there i just forgot to add it to menu as you can see but I'm not going to do that. It's still down here, though. So as you can see, if we enter in four, it's going to say blah, blah. All right. Now, do you want? Uh, last but not least, let us see what happens if we enter in negative eighty nine five or six five four eight seven five one two three nine. Invalid answer. So it doesn't matter what they enter in; it'll always be invalid answer, no matter what. So they cannot crash your program. Look at that! You got an unbreakable program. Well, not 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 exactly, but technically you don't. But there you go, and that's the case structure. Thanks for watching. Uh, I do have a new site up and running. Uh, I'm actually going to keep the site up. This is it's completely related to all these tutorials. It's actually focused mainly on them. I have all my t video tutorials up on that site, and I will be writing out text tutorials in case uh, those few individuals that pop up on this on my uh, videos here are learn better by reading I will be doing the same tutorials except in text form written out and you can and then of course you can always just go there I do have my contact info in case you have a question I've had a few questions already pop up in my email I'm happy to answer all of them and reply back I will reply back don't worry whether it's relevant or not, I will. Anyways, this concludes tutorial 5. Tutorial 6 shall be up relatively short f shortly, hopefully, uh, if nothing else gets in my way. But other than that, see you guys around.